Hello, it's Asteria with a reading for the collective. This Queen of Pentacles reverse fell out when I was putting the cards away from the last reading. So there's something about this Queen of Pentacles reverse that we need to look into. So let's see. What do we need to know about this Queen of Pentacles reverse? What does the collective need to know about this Queen of Pentacles reverse? Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant. So this person is looking at you getting something that's fair, that's owed to you. Uh, this could be a big law office. This could be an organization giving you something. This could be you getting married, something like that. Um, this could be some uh, a religious person giving you something that is owed to you. Um, this could be institutional backing. So this Queen of Pentacles reverse, this is someone who, um, you know, is, is materialistic, um, judgmental. Maybe they don't take very good care of themselves. Um, Queen of Cups reverse under the deck. So this could be more than one feminine energy. Um, or this is clarifying this Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is just someone who's just maybe in their feelings. They could be very fickle. They're emotional. Um, and because you've got something coming to you here that is balancing a situation out. Uh... Five of Swords reverse. Their problem is they have to put down their swords. They can no longer come after you with this bullying energy, this hateful, ego-driven energy. They could be very resentful. They're looking at something being made fair for you. Ace of Swords reverse. They could have lied. They could be confused how this is happening. In the subconscious, Eight of Wands reverse. So, something could be backfiring. Um, they could feel like something's slowing down to a halt for them. This is that uh, they took some sort of frustrated action, and now the action they took is actually why something is being made fair. This could be someone who um, parties a lot or someone who wanted you to be, to feel like you weren't getting wish fulfillment, feeling like it was a loss. Um, maybe this person is connected to a King of Cups reverse, or they wanted this King of Cups reverse to treat you badly or for you, or they, they're in, in involved with this King of Cups reverse, someone real, shifty, cold, manipulative, that's how they wanted someone to treat you. Um, they wanted that to be the end of the story. In the recent past, the star. They don't want you to know that this is how people see you, or that they want you to feel like you, you shine bright, uh, there's a wish coming true for you. Uh, you're very unique, that you've got something going on here. Something's coming in, it's your aura. Um, they don't want you to know something about some sort of event that happened here, or this is somebody's perspective. They want to keep it hidden. They might want you to feel like they're still in the background trying to do damage and that people don't see you this way. Um, this is also about hope and something spiritual, spiritually aligned, high vibrational, unique. 
Um, yeah, they don't want you to know about that. Um, intentions, Ace of Swords, reverse. They're trying to keep something hidden. They want to keep some sort of, they want to cause confusion. That's their goal. They're under judgment, though. Nine of Cups, reverse. For trying to block your happiness, for... Maybe some sort of selfish, overindulgent action. Um, in the near future, High Priestess Reverse. So, yeah, this is someone who uh, is very... This person taps into lower vibrational spiritual energy. They guide others the wrong way. This is a very dark, feminine energy. Very um, toxic devilish devilish feminine energy um and there's something significant about them in the near future wow five of wands reverse under the deck so this is them trying to do something underhanded to you um Noise starts when I start my when I do my readings. It'll be real quiet, and then the noise starts. Um, okay, so we've got this high priestess reverse in the near future. I think this is just someone sending you bad energy. Um, they're in competition with you. They're very disillusioned. They're very unhappy. Um, Ace of Wands reverse. Maybe someone's not not attracted to them, or or they're trying to block your spirit, your energy. Maybe they want you to feel. They want you to feel dull and unseen. I'll clarify what they're doing in the near future. Um, two of Wands. They feel like you're you're planning something. You're getting ready, you're making plans, or they, they are making some type of a plan. Because they see something coming towards you here that's really positive. So maybe they're planning this confusion they're trying to cause. Um, trying to block a breakthrough. Trying to block your clarity. Um, so it's like if, if you're, it's like if you had a to-do list, or you're getting to work, or you're, there's something at work that you're doing, they want to block your clarity so you don't know where to start or something like that, I think. And they want they don't want you to have any energy and they want you to uh, not have any clarity which direction to take. They want you to feel maybe confused or lacking confidence because the plan is unclear or something like that. Page of Swords reverse in the environment. So this person is a stalker and there's someone who slanders you, lies about you. Yeah, Seven of Swords. They're a thief, they're a stalker, they're a liar. And they see you um, moving forward unburdened with limitless potential. They see you very, very optimistic and something coming towards you here, and so this is their plan, and they already feel like you're this bright energy, this bright visionary, this wish is coming true. Um, so, hopes and fears of this person, King of Wands. They're worried that you are going to either be this King of Wands, or that you're going to meet this King of Wands. That you're going to align yourself with a king of wands a visionary a leader someone that's very has a lot of a lot of strong energy um fire fiery energy this is someone who you know is just very enigmatic and might um you know with these wands this is someone that takes action they've mastered actions they've mastered spirit they're very um, 
you know, this person could be worried that this person's going to come in and support you somehow, make something fair. That's what they're worried about. Um, they could also be worried that this King of Wands is on to them. Nine of Cups reversed. They don't want you to be happy. Um, they see you moving on, healing. Um, they could be sick. Outcome. The moon. So they could be afraid, they could feel haunted, they could, they could be unsure, or they could be trying to hide themselves, hide what they're doing. This also fell. Death. Death in the reverse. They could be confused why something's not over for you, or they could be hiding that they're trying to drag something out. Six of Wands under the deck, they feel like you're victorious, that you're celebrated, that you're going to be celebrated. Um, that you're going to be seen, seen and celebrated, recognized, recognized for something here. If something is made fair, this could be also someone giving you something that, um, there could be someone here that's very noble, that, that, um, wants to give something to you. It doesn't have to be money. Um, it could be a helping hand or just someone making something fair and equal, a fair exchange. Someone has a problem with justice, balance, something balancing itself self out because they're inverted. They're completely inverted, this person. So now we know this person has a plan. Um, let's see what details we can get. What does the collective need to know? Um, there's a reason why Five of Swords Reverse, why, yeah, there's something about someone helping you. There's a reason why they have to put their swords down. I feel because they're exposed, but they still want to do something. They hate that you love yourself. So they feel like they can't block that. So they want to muddy up the, con they want to create confusion around you or block someone else's clarity. Um, they have to put their swords down. Tell me about them. They have to stop. The family. So they could feel like if you build this family that they won't be able to whatever they try to do here because you'll have support. Yeah, bully reverse. They won't be able to bully you. There could be um, because people won't be blind to something about you where it's like you'll have more support, more eyes. More people seeing what's going on around you. Um, somebody making you some type of a promise. Someone assuring you. Someone around who has your back. That's that's why um, they feel like... And you're real calm. So they feel like they can't attack you this way. Eight of Wands reversed. This is gonna backfire, or they, deep down they know they're they're taking some sort of frustrated, jealous action, but they are ignoring ignoring it. Treasure. Maybe yeah, because they're jealous of your treasure, because something didn't originate with them. They don't want to believe you're a sweetheart or they don't want to feel like something originated with you. There's some sort of competition over something that you're blessed with, a blessing, something about something originating with you. It's, it's their ego. They can't stand that something is yours or comes from you. 
um, it's like they don't think you deserve something. And something didn't happen to you. So they're upset that something didn't happen to you. They weren't able to stop you. There's something about memories here. Relaxation, tranquility and peace. Um, was there an event or what was going on with the star energy? I think it could just be you in this energy. Yeah, idea. It's you're inspired or you're inspiring. Yeah, you're like you're in the zone. You're in the zone. And something that somebody was trying to get people to do or this group or something, it's just not doing anything or things are falling apart with this group. It doesn't matter what they say. Um, you're not sick. Yeah, you're focused on your career or your job. You're inspired, you're inspiring. They don't want, they don't want you to know that people see you this way. So they, they want you to be blind to yourself. And they feel like this promise is coming towards you. So it's like they don't want you to have confidence or to see yourself. This person's disturbed. They don't want you to know that they're in the background doing this. They want you to feel like, you know, negative energy is yours. Or if something's unclear or something's feeling slowed down. I mean, it's always good to take responsibility for, for your emotions, your moods, your actions, your clarity, for, for everything. Um, so it's not to make an excuse, but, but um, if you wake up, for instance, with a strange feeling, they don't want you to know that it's them operating in the background, sending you a lot of projections, negative projections. Um, they could be projecting at you that if you go on this adventure, it's going to turn into a nightmare. Yeah, this person is trying to make you feel like something's going to be catastrophic or that there's going to be too much hate. Too many people will hate you. They want you to be very pessimistic. Um, they want you to think about the losses that you've had. Oh my gosh. Ace of Swords Reverse. Um, it's not. It's not working. Ace of Swords Reverse. They um, want to block you. They want to create confusion. They want to lie. Relaxation. They feel like you're at peace. Okay. Why is relaxation here? Fate Reverse. They want you to miss something. Maybe they don't want you to be alert. They want you to be, they want everything just to pass you by. It's like your subconscious is afraid of taking action. They want you to um, not pay attention to your finances. It's like they want you to go into some type of a dream where you just let every day go by without clarity um, in regards to your profession. They want you to feel like they're not in the background protesting against you, like it's over. Like the struggle is over. High Priestess Reverse in the near future. Why is this significant? What is going on with this High Priestess Reverse? Commitment Reverse. Huh. 
don't know, someone's not committing to them or, the, or they want to stop someone from committing to you. Robbery. They want to steal potential. Whatever this is that they're looking at. This institutional support or this masculine energy that is very um, much a teacher or leader or institutional support or this is marriage they want to they're going to try to do something here to steal this energy or block it <sighs> they see you making plans that's what they have a problem with you're you're you have a lot of confidence um that's what they're trying to block coach reverse they don't want you to get the knowledge or Okay, or they're planning on, they don't want anyone to help you or for you to feel like, yeah, something about anyone caring for you. Um, yeah, they don't want you to reach your goals and they want to hide the evidence that they're doing this so that you don't feel on edge about what they're doing so that you don't recognize what's happening in the background. They don't want you to get any help. They don't want you to ask for help or get any help. There's something about a third wheel. They want you to feel like it's over or something like that, like something is over, some sort of collaboration is over. Um, they might want you to overspend. They want you to go into some type of dream where you're not paying attention like you feel like everything's fine and every day passes by and you don't take the right actions <sighs> they want you to feel like something's good news here but then be hesitant they want you to feel like or to be unsure about these people because these people that were these party people or these people that were indulging um, and with this third wheel, they want you to feel like you're, you're gaining something, that a promise is coming and that you're gaining something. They're trying to manipulate you, but it's like you feel like everything's fine because this collaboration, these people are done. Yeah, they just want you focused on material things, like just gaining something, but to be unclear about correct action. They don't want you to use your imagination. They want you to relax, but not um, be this visionary. They don't want you to take action on your highest potential. They want you to be, um, what's the word? Can't think of the word at the moment. It's like, uh, just ex accepting whatever it is, whatever it is, but not be clear, not to have any clarity, not to be strong, take bold action, not to reach out, to feel like you're at peace and for the time to go by without you noticing it. This person's a stalker, they're in your energy. Page of Swords reverse. Um, ominous. This is an insidious person. Who is gluttonous? A greedy, insidious person who is like a stalker. Watching your sweet dream. They don't want you to have any kindness.
it's like a, uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but like a hypnotic energy. Really trying to work under the surface here. They're worried about a king of wands because this is someone who would like, they're worried about you taking action. And this could either be you, whether you're masculine, you know, male or female, but that you would take on this king of wands energy or that you would align with this king of wands because they're worried about you taking action on this star energy. Um, yeah, some sort of alliance. This person could be also wanting you to indulge or they're worried that this king of wands is going to leave these people behind this party group oh, they feel or they want this king of wands to feel like they want someone to feel like they're taking a loss, a material loss, if they make a move. They're, some, they're trying to persuade someone. They want someone to feel like they've got to take, make some type of a compromise. It's a story, though. It's a made-up story. The story doesn't exist at all. Person doesn't have anything better to do. Outcome moon death reverse. Something's hidden. They're trying to do something hidden, trying to keep something going. something hidden or they don't understand why I'm not sure yet moon death reverse or they're afraid something's not over for you you love yourself Imagination reverse. They want you focus on material things and just going out and having a great time and not getting to work on your north node. making friends, um, nothing wrong with that, but someone is really trying to work in a way that is like the most insidious because it seems like it's all good, but they want, this is like some type of, wow. Yeah, they want it to be endless where it's like you don't notice that something passed you by, something that would be merit making. You not using your imagination. And they want you to miss your fate. So this person is, you know, doing a lot of projection. And so now you know. Um, they want you to feel like something's over with this group of people, they, they're trying to mask themselves. I feel like, who, who is this? Alchemist. Um, I feel like they want you overindulging in 
material things and spending and food and going out and they want you to feel liberated but that you don't, don't ever take any action. So it's like you don't notice what's happening. Rebel Reverse, they're trying to hide the energy as if they're not fighting against you. King Reverse, they don't want this masculine energy coming towards you. Child Wounded, could be something from your childhood. Don Juan Reverse. There's a masculine in the upright. They're trying to pretend like they're not there. Shapeshifter reverse. Knight reverse. There's something about a masculine energy. King reverse. Don Juan reverse. Knight of Knight reverse. But they're a shapeshifter. They're coming across as a queen of pentacles. There's someone here. Vampire. There is someone coming towards you. They're worried about someone coming towards you. They want you just to go along with something energetically. Like you're floating along and you don't even realize. They don't want the Christ-like energy. Gambler, it didn't work. The hedonist didn't work. People are seeing through something. Alchemist. This person is music, misusing power and knowledge that comes through spiritual practice. Something they try to destroy you, it's not working. They feel like you're moving forward. So this is there with your new your ideas, you're making plans. They don't want anyone to help you. Mystic, yeah, they're trying to do something here in the background. They don't want you to fulfill whatever this create, create, creativity is. That's what they want to block, and they're watching you. I don't know if they read tarot or what they do, but they're very much in your energy trying to see what you're creating, and they don't want you to be uh, in your imagination. They don't want you to use your ideas. So... They don't want you to use your creativity, and they're definitely voyeuristic. And they feel like all this other stuff didn't work, because they had all these other people, or there was all of these other people around you. Um, there was a lot of manipulation going on, and, and that all fell apart. Or they, yeah, or they want you to feel like now you can relax and and... Um, the, the, cause they feel like they can't block your money flow. They just want you to spend it the wrong, the, they want you to spend your time and energy the wrong way. They want you to lack clarity. They don't want you to have a breakthrough. Um, wow. Mercury. That's trickster. That's also, I feel like that could feel like the magician as well. Like you not manifesting. Yeah. Aquarius reverse. No vision. They want to block you from manifesting your vision. Your north node. Your highest potential. Um, they don't want you to feel something too. They want you to not feel something. Wow. There's something about you expressing yourself. Embodying your truth. Capricorn, it has to do with your your ambition. They don't want you to be ambitious. Um, ambitious with your visions. Your vision, your star energy. House 11, Aquarius energy. Capricorn and Aqu um, Aquarius. They don't want you combining these two, two things together. Ambition and big ideas taking action on them jupiter expanding something is happening for you energetically in the universe they want you to let it they want you to focus on the wrong things and for something to pass you by 
conjunction, a union merging, coming together. They want you to miss this too. Um, this has to do with something from your childhood. Or you using your rational mind, you being rational. Yeah, because they want you to feel like you're relaxed. You're, so they're trying to like use your positivity, your strengths against you. Yeah. House seven. This has to do with profound relationships. I don't know if they don't, I don't know. Because they feel like someone's coming towards you, but it's like somehow you'll miss your fate if you don't self-express, embody your truth. It's like you're holding yourself back because you're relaxed and you think. You don't notice the time. What else do we need to know about this? Something about empathy. You feeling someone, you picking up on something. Romance reverse. You missing something, you to trying to block the connection. It has something to do with you taking action. You're so relaxed and you're focused on self-love and that you miss the connection, that you miss the breakthrough, that you don't get your inheritance, you don't get your birthright. I'm trying to block your birthright. They don't want you to be open to receive from this person. Someone would help you because they feel like the lie has come out. The lie is clear. But, so this is how they're working it. Um, I also don't want you to have gratitude. Or, yeah, they want you to lack patience. Um, they don't want you to assert yourself. Um, they want to you to feel criticized or they've been criticizing you or putting you down or they want you to have a critical voice but they can't do this if you have this family if you have this warmth around you they feel like they're going to lose their influence over you Yeah, there's always something they don't want you to have this optimism in regards to this connection and this big idea, this star energy. They want you just focused on just money, small wins, something like that. They don't want you to get institutional support or someone to help you. Um, yeah, this is definitely a distraction. They want you to take a loss. And they want you to be enthusiastic while you do it. That you want, they want you to act impulsively. Deep down, they want you to forget what originated with you. Um, Deep down, a secret is coming out, though. They're taking some sort of frustrated action to get this treasure. They don't want you to... They don't want to believe that something or originates with you. Or they don't want you to know that something does. But there's a treasure here. And they feel like the secret's coming out. Um, star... Charity, inheritance, 
You being you being given what is due to you. Because someone's exposed here. Somebody made the wrong decision. Um, somebody's mask came off. So this is somebody pivoting. They're pivoting their strategy. It's a dark high priestess energy who's very greedy and superficial. Uh, who is like obsessed with you. Trying to stop you from achieving your north node. What are they trying to do here? Ace of Swords Reverse. They want to block your clarity. Achievement. They want you focused on... It's very tricky. It's you building something, but you miss your... You're relaxed. You're building something, but you miss your fate. Yeah. They don't want you to be innovative. So there's a difference. They don't want you to innovate. It's your north node. There's You can build and you can be happy with um, the maybe the financial payouts or and you can be relaxed you can live live good but they don't want you focused on your highest potential your north node that's so tricky yeah they want you to be in this dream that this idea overly idealistic about something that is the wrong way or is not your highest potential they don't want you to think about it they want you to do this without caution they don't want you to have clarity about the the moves you're making, yeah, they want you just focus on some type of like financial fulfillment and money. Um, but it's almost like you'd be taking a gamble. High Priestess Reverse. This person is trying to stop someone from committing. Um... Some sort of communication. I almost feel like I'm talking to a masculine energy. They, this person wants this mass. I feel like whoever you are, they want you to focus on something that's more boxed in but it's not your highest potential. And this is born of hatred. And this is an act of war from this person. But they're trying to do it in a way where you wouldn't even notice the drama happening. It's very subtle and very tricky. It's, it's because the mask has come off, so this is like a new strategy. It's trying to make someone feel like they've got clarity now. But they're still trying to manipulate. They, they lack principle. They don't want someone doing something principled here. Um, two of Wands. They know someone's planning. They don't want someone to reach their goals. They don't want someone to be generous with someone. They don't want someone to find the evidence. They don't want someone to realize that. Um, they want someone to f be in a, have a false sense of security here. They don't want them to make this discovery. Page of Swords, there's someone here that's like a stalker trying to block some type of negotiation in the environment. The situation is very haunting. This person is a stalker. They're very gluttonous. They want to know the news. They're trying to get the information and it has to do with the couple. They want someone to be detached. Even though someone's mask has come off, it's like this is someone's new strategy. They don't want someone to be a king of wands in the upright, or they don't want this king of wands aligning with a feminine energy. 
They don't want this King of Wands to let go of these people that they indulge with. this person to feel like they should be cautious with something that's actually the right way they don't want them to they want them to feel like they're they'll be making a wrong move if they leave this indulgent situation they want someone to be drawn into some type of like a it's some sort of like to take a chance with something. It feels very hypnotic. Uh, they don't want this person to innovate. Because it's... This has to do with for true friendship. Innovating with a true friendship. With an alliance, making an alliance where there's harmony. Outcome the moon, death reverse. Someone loves themselves. Something, somebody's trying to hide something. There's a friendship group here. Concentration reverse. Somebody's confused. Someone's confused, but something seems like there's harmony. Wow. There is someone here that is thinks outside of the box. Someone's not isolated. There are friends here. Isolation reverse, friendship in the upright. Someone is taking a loss. Um, whatever this resistance is, isn't working. It has to do with convention. Someone trying to keep someone stuck in some kind of a box that doesn't serve them. Someone doesn't want someone to use their imagination. Wow. So this is going on in the background. Um, I can't tell if they're focused on a Divine Feminine or a Divine Masculine or both. It's hard to know who this is exactly. They're definitely focused on, um, okay, yeah. Uh, what does the collective need to know about this person? This has to do with a breakup. Someone is trying to do some sort of gamble, sacrifice. This is somebody who built their, 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 they're someone that lies a lot. They're somebody who's mentally unstable. They're somebody who is soulless, vacant. This could be a water sign, and they're already exposed for being a user gold digger, and they are afraid. They have financial issues. There could be something about a text message, them. They could be trying to look at someone's text messages. They could be trying to look at a fire sign's text messages. Something shocking. Something shocking about these text messages. Someone's brother or sister could be involved. They want someone focused on fake glamour. It's having something to do with the way that someone looks. Someone is very jealous. This environment is unsafe around this person. This person could go to jail or prison for what they've done or what they're doing. Whatever it is, it's really big. They could be doing something online, some sort of business online. And whatever that is, uh, there's a court case coming up. This could be someone's mother.
and and some sort of group of fake friends. It's whatever it is. It's very very corrupt, and it has to do with someone's career. Uh, IJKL. This could be somebody who um, yeah they don't want someone to be unique, or they're trying to block someone's uniqueness or individuality. It all has to do with money and their ego. They're experiencing some type of a painful ending, so they're trying to create some new problem. You need to know it's okay, don't worry about a thing. They could have lied to a bunch of strangers to get them to, to do something here. There could be someone here with blue eyes that knows something about your north node and your crown chakra. I don't know if this person wants to send an email or they read an email. It has something to do with destiny and the, the numbers, signs, and synchronicities uh, very soon. They know something about someone spying and stalking you with a group of people. If they do email you, don't tell anybody. There's definitely something about your, your, you, your, the way you look, someone creating boundaries around you. Maybe this is a divine connection. Someone's trying to create mind games. They're trying to use a party scene. There could be a celebrity attached. This person's angry. They're very, very angry. They're having some type of legal issues. They can't stand that you escaped slander. Yeah, there's something about where you live and your phone and tech. Yeah, something about where you live. Yeah, something about something about a water sign, red hair that's obsessed. Um, Archangel Michael's here for the collective. Um, you might have ghosted E, F, G, or H. This person is in, this person is in sorrow for what they did, or they're in sorrow. They had these evil intentions towards you and everything's working out for you. They know something about this that's going on. They also are seeing something about these unknown forces. They don't know how you get your downloads. Um, definitely keep doing your spiritual baths. Um, something from the past that you did. That's where you have all the strength. It has to do with your prayers, your spiritual hygiene that's blocking this bully, magic, hacker, thief. They're receiving a spiritual downgrade and they could be in physical pain. There is someone around here that regrets something. It's because people are asking questions. There's a lack of harmony around these people. Definitely, there's something about what, what you're saying. They're trying to hide something having to do with something they've done illegal for for greed. It could, in, because they're greedy, it could involve a house. Law enforcement knows something. They also know something about a car, something they did in the past. Someone's tapping into a phone conversation um, of this public figure while they travel. It could be an earth sign. Empress. You're an empress with high vibrational energy. Keep doing your prayers, especially ones that you say out loud, your affirmations. Um, yeah, so now you know what someone is doing here in the background, trying to confuse someone, 
yeah, it's like, okay, so it could be a third party that has a problem with your abundance. And they see you working and receiving this fulfillment and being accepted, even though they try to slander you. And they feel like this new high vibration is, connection is coming in the future. Um, yeah, they're trying to confuse you to make you like they are. Uh, but you're you're in good health and um, you love yourself and your sacral chakra keep working on your sacral chakra um, yeah true love is here it's coming they're jealous um, they're trying to figure out which direction this is going um, um so I just want to find out if there's any more guidance for the collective, more specifically, um, in addition to what we just learned about what this person is doing in the background. There could be a mother figure involved with this person, but I feel like, or this person is a mother figure. Um, I definitely want to know what the collective needs to know about this energy projection that they're trying to do because it's they've been exposed so this is now what they're doing they feel like this is like energy manipulation i feel like that's what it is Let's just get some more guidance what does the collective need to know the most positive response to this, especially if someone's trying to confuse someone. I don't know if they're trying to confuse a masculine energy. They're sending out this energy or they're trying to block someone's clarity. Whoever this Hierophant is, this new vibrational, high vibrational connection, they're trying to block this person. Or they're trying to block you from taking action. They want you to be confused or lack of clarity. They want you to have... Um, yeah, they want to block the star energy. They don't know. They don't want you to know what direction to go. So, what does what is the advice for the collective about this? Well, there's synchronicities. For one, you can see the synchronicities. Um, will tell you which direction to go. West or left could be significant. Use. Um, always default to love. Default to love. Look at the synchronicities. You're never alone. And this abundance is here. It's coming. Um, what does the collective need to know about this person trying to confuse, almost like lull someone into some type of false sense of security and not have a breakthrough or not take action? So this is someone that watches a lot. Um, watching your star energy. Keep praying and meditating on the right ways you can win in the future. You're getting guidance. You're getting guidance. Listen to your emotions, how you feel about certain choices. Whatever it is, you have history. You, you have a deep, long history. Um, what they're doing now, they will also get karma for. And you should know anything is possible. So if you feel limited in any way, this is a reminder to meditate. Feel, feel your emotions. How do you feel about certain choices or how do you feel about taking action? How do you feel about not taking action? Go to go within. Um, this definitely has to do with your business. You make the rules. It's your business. Dance like nobody's watching. This is your birthright. Um, come out with your presence. Um, don't worry about this person who's trying to mirror you with whatever this magic is. Um, get out there, uh, get out there, take action. 
Um, if there's some point where you need to have a conversation, go ahead and do it. Um, you have a very unique story. You're very interesting. Uh, you can obviously keep whatever you need um, to yourself, but when it comes to enterprise, you're, you've got a lot to offer. Um, and there is a forever thing coming here. Um, listen to the guidance. You're getting guidance. You'll know when to stop. You will, you will know when. You'll know when to be passive. You'll know when to take plan, a plan, to make a plan. Get back to the plan if you need it. Um, feel things out. Do some, some soul searching. Pay attention to your feelings and your instincts. What feels wrong? What feels right? Um, if something feels like, you know, just hanging out and relaxing and feeling like everything is good uh, because you feel like you've taken the right actions towards your north node, then that's good. If you're feeling like something's missing, something's off on the surface, something feels like you should be satisfied, but something's missing or off, do some soul searching here, get back to your list. Um, or make one, you should know that you're more than enough to take whatever actions um, these are that you need to take. You have the freedom. Don't worry about being perfect. It's never going to be perfect. Definitely daydream. Daydream. See, vi see how you, you know, just see what comes up mostly from your heart and your, your vision. What? How do you see it? Well, you know, take the time to Kind of stare off into the clouds or relax with music. Pay attention to your feelings. What do you want it to be? Um, and then keep whatever it is to yourself. Yeah. Um, and everything's happening in divine timing. You'll, you'll see the signs. You have the, you have the strength to, to do it. And anything you need, cosmic order, ask for it. And if that, if that means that you need community... Um, ask for that too if you need the right community um, yeah basically manifest and there's something also about your animal friends or seeing things in nature paying attention to the signs um, you know or to also to help you stay grounded um, and to see the patterns in nature or with animals um, especially when you have your alone time um yeah, and definitely keep up with your spiritual hygiene and have healthy boundaries around, um, you know, people that are draining or when you need your space. Um, yeah, definitely is a great time to visualize, dream and visualize, visualize as if you're there. Um, smell it look down it's like you're looking through a vr headset see every detail of the reality uh imagine it first allow yourself to drift off what do you want it to be what feels good and then visualize it visualize the details look down see your own hands and feet in the environment smell it hear it see the details see your awards see the plaques see the uh you know people around you see the view out the window, see the textures, what is something, if you're eating something, what does it taste like, what's in your hand, um, you know, what time of day is it, you know, see all the details, spend the whole day or evening here, see every detail, take a walk, get in your car, get on the bus, go for a ride, wherever you, whatever you do, have your whole day in this environment get very specific to the point where you can see it, smell it as if it's here. If you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.